All right. So today I'm doing some fishing with Captain Mikey Balls, and we are doing some fishing in beautiful Central Florida. And I just caught my first fish. Thank you. All right. So I just got a nice fish here on the. I'm using a wacky worm, wacky rigged, and just basically just working it along the bottom. And we're on a. I think we're on a school of fish. So this is a nice little guy. He's very beautiful. Let's check out his color. The, um, the fish I'm usually used to catching are very dark green, and this one he's like iridescent. He's very pretty. Even his fins are see-through. Super cool fish. We're gonna catch a ton of fish today. I have a, I have a feeling. This was my third cast, I believe. So killing it already. And Mikey made five bucks. And Mikey made five bucks. <laughs> We're good. He caught one on his first or second cast, and I caught mine on a third cast. So we're killing it over here. <laughs> now you're schooling Killing me. it over oh, here. Oh, one. I got a nicer one. This is good. This is a good sign. This is great. This is a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> this is solid fish. I'll take it. Nice. Nice. What is that, two pounder? Close yeah, to two? two and two and change. You want to grab them up? Oh, yeah. Out of control. Out of control. Gorgeous. Check it out, guys. We are killing it over here. So. Gorgeous fish. Just look how iridescent, iridescent it is. Love it. It's just a different fish. They fight real hard. It's deeper water. I'm not used to fishing in. And um, actually, Mikey, this, uh, it felt so bad for us on Lake Okeechobee when we weren't catching any fish for two days. And he's like, I got to take you guys to the spot where I catch a ton of fish. So we are killing it already. And they're not even 10 minutes into our fishing trip. So this is a great sign. Nice solid chunker here. And I'm going to get him off the hook. And he's got a fish, doubled up. I kind of felt a little pump pop, but like I thought it was the bottom. And then I was like, oh damn, ah, oh, was, yeah. oh, dude, this is like the smallest fish. <laughs> and he hit this that. thing so hard and actually fought pretty good too. I mean, I'm using light tackle, so it's a lot of fun, but this guy is not that big. They're little healthy little guys. Nice, nice fish. He felt bigger. He felt really big. <laughs> but I'll take it all day. Nice. It'll get bigger. Pretty guy. Get bigger. But we're, we're using it. I'm using a drop shot rig now. Switched it up um, because we can see on the depth finder that the fish are up a little higher from the bottom. So usually that means they're a little bit more inactive. But we're trying to use a drop shot rig so that way our bait is floating up higher in a better presentation and not directly on the bottom. And it seems to be working. Oh yeah. Is that bottom or fish? Oh, that's a fish. Is it? Oh my god. All right. I was just like, I don't know what happened there, but uh, I was like reeling. Solid oh, it's a solid. Grab the net, all right? Okay. He, I was reeling, and I could feel a fish on it, and somehow when I closed the bale, the bale, I did not close it properly, and the bale shot back open. So I thought I had like broke the line, and then I realized there was a fish still on there. This guy is a nice one. Putting up a great fight. He's gonna run on you on the boat. So okay. Watch it. As soon as he comes up, okay. Oh, solid fish. Solid. Oh, yeah. you saw it, Darcy. Oh. We're getting bigger. Yeah. We're getting bigger. It's a oh, solid what? Choked it like two and a half. Two and a half. Change, yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Why don't you Ooh. hold her this way because she's about yeah. There you go. Pretty, pretty fishy. Yeah. We got to get the hook out. She yeah. buried it in her butt. Gorgeous fish. Put up a great fight. This is solid fish. So the last fish that I caught. Um, destroyed my drop shot rig, so Mikey is going to be tying on a the drop shot rig and show you how to properly tie the knot and all that good stuff. So we're going to do this real quick. There's a, a special way or a little last minute trick that you do in order so that the bait stands up correctly. So right now I'm tying just a power knot, but I'm making a huge loop right there. Uh, so I'm going to tie my power knot, you know, cross just like the shoe. Yep. I'm bring the loop back down. I'm going to drop that hook right through the loop. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a kiss. Nice wet one. And I'm going to draw that line down just like that. And we're all cinched up right there. You can see we got a really long tag yeah. line. So here's the trick for making it stand up straight to our sizzle. Mm -hmm. What you're going to do is you're going to take that tag line, that empty end, yep. and you're going to look at your hook and you want your hook faced upwards like that. Okay. And then that eye right there, you're going to 
put the tag line right through that eye mm -hmm. and draw it through. Let me show you what happens. See how that hook stands oh. up like that? So basically yep. that'll keep the bait upwards instead of kind of fouling and dragging it down in that. Wow. And then what we're going to do, we got a little bell weight. What's really cool with these, you don't have to tie them on. They oh. just have a little cinch on the tip. So I'm going to put my tag line or your tag line yep. right through there. I'm going to use my teeth. I'm just going to pull up a little bit and that cinches it on there. Now we're not fishing like rocks or anything, but yeah. if we were fishing like super rocks or something, this will, well, what will happen is, is this will actually break off. So instead of snagging, oh. this will just kind of break off the line because it's not tied on. So it saves you some time. It'll cost you a little money, but I'm all right. about efficiency and keeping it simple. Right. So let's cool. go catch some more. All right? Nice. Thank you. I just slide the hook right through that, that smooth part right in the middle. Okay. Um, kind of making like a T basically. And then obviously, you know, that's your generic wacky rig right there and you're good to go, it'll kick on both ends. Nice! Another fish! All right! Fish on! First cast? Oh, oh come on! Spit me off. Awesome! Nice. Second kick. Come on. I'll take it. Nice. A little fish here, but the bass are schooled up. Second cast out, already two fish. So they are hungry. They're all so pretty too. Can't get it. I can't believe like how see-through their fins are. It's just way cool. Way cool. Bye, little guy. <laughs> oh, real river. It ain't mean. I can't wait to grab like a like a four pounder. That guy's gonna fight like. Oh, solid. He's good. He's good. I'll take it. Man, nice. They're so fat too. They yeah. really eat good down there. I mean, that's why they're sitting yeah. down there is because they're eating. They really yeah. eat good. And Mikey, you gotta check out Mikey Balls' channel. He kills the fish. He's a huge bass fisherman. Check out his YouTube channel. I have it leaked, linked below. He's also on. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it, he's on it. I'll have all that information down below. But Mikey Balls catches some huge fish. I think on Thanksgiving Day he caught an 11 pounder. Shh, I mean, shh, you're not supposed to tell anybody. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> not, I don't even know where he caught it, but he just he slays the fish. I'm telling you, this guy catches big fish. I has awesome content. <laughs> I just lost my worm on that last fish. Uh, so I need to rig up again for the wacky rig and I just want to show you really quick but this is a Mustad straight shank light wire hook and I've got this is your traditional Senko but this is a gambler lures this is considered the fat ace and this is the Copperfield color so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this nail weight and on the flat side of the worm because you see the other side's pointed you're just gonna go take the nail weight just stick it right in the middle all the way down so it's flush like this there we go like that and then you take your hook and this little area right here where there's no ripples on the actual soft plastic this little flat area I'm just gonna stick the hook in and I'm ready to fish Tap it now. Too late. He's hugged on that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Juice. Nice. Man, I think so. I think. Yeah, keep pressure on. Just keep the rod tip down or up? Yeah, keep the rod tip down and keep going around. I think I got something, yeah. Feel him on there. Yeah, he's coming up. Coming up. He's coming up. Oh! Just grab him in. Hey. Nice job. First fish long lining. Awesome. You got him good too. She won't come off. Nice. There you go. Sweet. 
All right, so I just caught I just got a fish. This one is chunky. Check out that belly on her. Really fat fish. And um, we're long lining, really cool technique. And I was just cranking down the crankbait as far down as I could get it down to the bottom and felt this girl hit the bait. And uh, yeah, just rolled it up. Beautiful fish. Awesome. That happened real fast. That's what I could do. Oh, wow! <laughs> these things fight! I cannot get over these fish we've been catching today. They are like these little tanks. Like, you know, we've been catching like one to two pounders, a lot of them. And this fish, like, he put up one heck of a fight. Like, he was digging and everything, and I thought it was a bigger fish. And every single time I pull it up, I'm like, I just can't believe the size of the fish because they are really strong and powerful in this lake. Truly incredible. But they're fat, really fat. They're all well fed, feeding on a ton of shad and what else is in this lake. But he put up a good fight for like down in the canals where I fish. Like I would have thought this would have been a three pounder, four pounder. <laughs> Ooh, I got something. Yeah, I definitely got a fish. Oh, keep the rod up when he jumps, right? You got yourself a double up. I actually want to keep him coming down. Okay, down, rod sit down. Second fish on the long line. Hopefully I can get him to the boat here. Whoa, that's a little guy. Cool. Second fish ever on long lining. Pretty cool. It's pretty awesome when they hit too, because you have like a ton of line out. And uh, once they hit, it feels like a ton of bricks because you have all this line and all this drag, and then you fight them to the boat. It's actually quite the workout. And look, double hookup. Nice. Whoa, he's got a slob over there. Sweet. Nice double up. How did that feel when you hooked them up so deep, like so far out there? It's kind of nuts. Yeah, it? when you hook them, it's like, you, you don't actually like, I don't know, it's weird to explain, but like, it's just a hard pull. And then you know that you have a fish because when you're long lining, it's really like, just all about working the rod and keeping the bait down on the bottom on the surf um, down there. So it's kind of like you're pulling in a ton of bricks to begin with. But then once you get a fish, it's even harder. And you, then you know you, <laughs> then you know you really got a fish. But that's a nice one. That one's fat. They're both really fat. And doubling up. Ain't nothing wrong with that, right? Awesome. Double release. All right, here we go. Cool. Ooh, nice. Haha, uh -huh, don't come up, don't come up. Please don't come up. Oh, it's a good one. I'll take it. Oh! You come off? Yeah! Are you kidding me? <laughs> you did everything right. He came off the hook. It was, I was totally, like, I had the t drag and I was totally, had pressure on him. And then he jumped that last time, fit the hook. Went back in the water and then did that last jump, and he was he was off the hook by then, um, and yeah, totally jumped and was gone. Kind of been the story of the day Come after on. that front went through, man. They're biting just. Yeah, oh, that was like my last fish too. Like uh, that was gonna be the last fish of the day for me, and like the last three fish I've hooked, I've lost. So that's kind of disappointing, but. We're back at the dock and we're wrapping up our day and we had an excellent day of offshore bass fishing here in beautiful central Florida and there was a cold front, a weak cold front that blew through in the morning and the bite was on fire but the afternoon bite seemed to slow down a bit but that's okay. I caught a bunch of fish, I ended up doing some new techniques like long lining, that was a lot of fun, I learned a lot, quite a bit today actually and uh, but yeah it was epic. We actually have to plan another trip to come back and fish with Mikey when the big hogs are actually fighting and get some monster, lunker, largemouth bass. So hopefully we'll do that very soon. Um, but you guys need to check out Mikey Ball's channel. He has a YouTube channel and what else? Uh, just check out the YouTube. It'd be really cool to uh, have you guys check that out. We do a lot of fishing offshore like this, tips, tricks, 
me just fishing, not doing nothing, and catching some big ones too. I was actually telling Darcy we caught that a giant 12-7 out here a few yeah. months back, and we're hoping. Right now we're kind of in this stage where there's a lot of males out there, so Darcy definitely needs to come back when those big females start rolling in. Yeah, so definitely check out his channel. I'll have that information linked in the description below. Give him a sub, a subscribe to his channel. He really is a reputable bass fisherman. He really knows what he's doing out here. And if you even checked out my video two weeks ago from Lake Okeechobee, he gave a lot of great tips on flipping and pitching for bass. So really great fisherman here. Make sure you check him out. And until our next adventure, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.